Okay, this is about a VPN, virtual private network. Again, big story is there. So what is virtual private network? Simply can add this point, guys. Connecting. A private network. From other connecting or accessing a private network from other private network over an internet or internet. This is enough. What is virtual private network? Okay, our internet. Okay. okay, using, uh, so, okay, this is simple and additional points also there. So we'll get onto that one. So here it is, first of all, understand why we need a VPN. Why we need a VPN. So look at here. Guys, this is my organization. My organization, my head office it is, our corporate office, which contains servers like a database server, web server, okay? Or maybe a application server, SAP system is there, okay? Data warehousing server is there. So different servers, networking components, firewalls, routers, switches, storage devices. Okay, so different components are there. Okay, so here it is. This is in my New York office. New York office. Okay, or New Jersey or London. Somewhere it is located. Here is a person who is something like he is a some system admin administrator. Is a some admin administrator or a some developer is there. Okay, it's a developer system. And this is a server. Both are in the same LAN network. Both are in the same LAN. Both are means it is on private network intranet intranet so this guy will can able to access a server in the network in the local network on for example this developer is trying to access his application server the system admin is accessing some active directory server to do some changes in it okay so i i am a like a database, a DBA administrator is there. DBA candidate is there. Can access this database server. Just like, not just like, both are in the same network, both are in the same, their own private network, intranet it is, so they can able to connect it. I understand, guys. I have a branch office. In the branch office also I have a servers and I have some users who are working. Okay, same organization, but this is a, a branch office. Think like this. This is a Hyderabad office. Here it is, this user is uh, another uh, DBA person is here want to access the same database server. How can you able to access both are uh, in the different locations, different geographical locations. I want to access google.com. How can I access google.com? Through internet, right? So you have a web server and you want to make the people to access website. You have to keep the website into the public, means public connectivity. 
they will access the website not the server content okay for example i open this website i can able to see the web page not internal content what is the storage inside what process is running inside what application is running inside of the server i can't see i can see only this data only right because that is only publicly connected not what exactly in the server okay so because why security that is private this is public okay so here it is this is also a developer so some db administrator not just the outer interface right he want to access the exactly the inside of server administrating what tables are there what data is there how to cre creation of new data creation of users this is a is work but if you connect that one in public unsecure right so what we this organization do it they connect this organization to organization using a dedicated line called a laser line dedicated line okay it is a, a dedicated line or a laser line it is it is a dedicated or a laser line it is so they will connect to our van this is van network because geographically connected how they will connect exactly say from here they will connect to the their own isp in their country in their isp they will connect and here in hyderabad also will connect to our isp like tata geo means reliance okay so we'll connect our isp and we have to tell this isp that i want to connect to this machine this network and we are telling to this isp we are connecting to this hide so between them they are already connected okay one isp and another isp through the fiber optical under version lines anyway they are connected okay anyway these isps are not directly but through the network only they are connected but they will create a, a private line from okay virtually there are create a private line from this new york head office to hyderabad branch office okay it's a dedicated line okay it is fixed bandwidth okay stable stable connection it is our broadband we are using broadband up to 50 mbps up to 100 mbps it can be 10 mbps sometimes it can be 100 mbps sometimes okay up to means depends upon the traffic load the that bandwidth will be changes but here it is fixed 20 mbps means 20 mbps on the fixed band it's a kind of private line so that no one is allowed to travel in your line because your line is dedicated line so only from this private line to private network only guys understand the laser line or a dedicated line connectivity okay so this is i have another branch office maybe think like this we were in a pune noida or maybe mumbai or bangalore okay i have another branch office is there there is a problem to connect from this dedicated lines between these offices it's difficult i have, I have a difficulty to connect a dedicated lines it is because dedicated lines are costly and monthly payable okay lot of configurations are there of course these are the major offices 
we can put the cost on it. This is small branch office. It's not required. You cannot able to offer the always, or maybe there is a feasibility. What is a feasibility? This is. What is meant by feasibility? What is feasibility? So can we connect or not connect like that? That is a feasibility. Okay, internet connectivity, we can put it or not. You know, some places you guys, we cannot get any kind of Geo or Airtel connections there. So no feasibility there. Okay, so like that. Some places we have a connections. Like villages, small towns. It's difficult for a connection. So what this organization do it, they will install a, a VPN server. Either they will configure inside a firewall, which is having this VPN kind of stuff. So one side of VPN is connected to internet. Another side of VPN is connected to the, their private network. Their private network. And here it is inside of this branch office. Okay. We'll also use a VPN server here. This is also here. I use VPN. And I have already internet connection is there. So what happened? We established a connectivity between this VPN server to this VPN server. It creates a tunnel between this VPN to this VPN. It creates a tunnel between this VPN to this VPN. Okay, so data will be shared. Okay, this from VPN to this VPN. So user will access this server. This user will access this server. Okay, from his system, just like he is in here. Okay, you don't feel like he is accessing through the internet. His feeling is like he is accessing the through his private net, just like how he is here. So this directly we can never access. The line is encrypted and uh, encrypted, so then no one can able to tamper your data. This is what VPN purpose. So I told about this LAN connection. These people also connect to these servers, just like they are connected in the LAN. There is no nothing like they we are connected to internet time, nothing. Just they use IP address as their their IP address only. What is the IP address? Okay. What IP address is using? Same IP network. These people also using. Here also same IP network. These people are using. Just all are private IP address only. But they are connecting over the public network okay that's it is vpn is connecting a private network from another private network over the internet it's not a dedicated line we are using our public network where we use the vpn where we cannot able to use the legal lines where we cannot bear the cost of this legal line kind of stuff another example guys Home users, home. I do work from home. I have internet connection. Some Airtel or Geo internet connection is there. I have a laptop. So this is my own private. This is my own private. And this is internet connection. Okay. So I have a, my own laptop is there. This is my private network. My laptop is in my private network. Just I'm accessing internet. What I will do with I will send a request to the VPN server for connectivity from my laptop. From my laptop. So what happened when the VPN agrees the connectivity? So then it assigns separate IP address for you. It's it assigned separate IP address for your laptop. Okay. It is like you are connecting to this 
private network with their private IP address on. Okay, so it is look like you are connecting their servers just like you are connected in the your local LAN network only. So it is encrypted channel between the VPN server to your laptop. Not your router here it is from VPN server to your laptop it creates a tunnel so then you can connect your infrastructure so uh, for example i'm a developer i do i'm doing some work from home i do, i want to connect to my uh, my application server to do some changes so what i have to do is connect it to the vpn from vpn to the my application server then do the some changes okay so whatever your data is transmitting from your system to the your network, it is our data is encrypted. So no one can be able to tamper your data. Once again, guys, a lazy line is a reserved circuit between two communication point that is always act to rented for monthly fee. Leasel lines are dedicated means that any bandwidth associated with leasel line is solely power private organizational use. Fixed bandwidth, stable connectivities. Okay. What is VPN? Virtual private network, a service that helps you to stay private online. Stay private, not offline, it is online. VPN establishes secure encrypted connection between your computer and the internet. As I said, from your e computer and internet. So it will create a, a secure encrypted connection. Providing a private tunnel for your data and communication while you use public network. You are using a public network, but from VPN server to your laptop. It creates a secure encrypted connection. Okay, by providing this private tunnels. Different private tunnels are there, PPTP, SSTP, L2TP, IKE, IPsec, different kind of stuff. And different authentications also there. So you want to connect through the VPN, you should allow to access the VPN. First, your user is should have authentication to connect. For example, I want to connect uh, our uh, 70s VPNs. I am not allowed. I am a trainer. I am not allowed to connect it. <laughs> okay. So my username is there. I have to take a permission to connect. I have to do work from home. That is also not allowed. If I am accessing that infrastructure, if I am a person who is actually working on the servers or routers or infrastructure related kind of stuff, so then VPN, through VPN, I can able to connect. So then organization allow me to access, not for every user, for a few users. After Corona, at the time of Corona, almost all people are uh, getting this VPN. Earlier days, it is you have to come to office only. Okay. So, to authenticate that user, so organization use active directories, AA servers, radius servers kind of stuff. Once again, guys, VPN use end-to-end -end encryption to provide you with a online privacy and security. It routes your data through the encrypted tunnel, so nobody can see what you are doing on the internet, expose your identity. Even if hackers intercepted your encryption data traffic, they will be able to view in contact. VPN is safe and cheaper than leasel lines. User connect remote infrastructure like connecting in a local network. Uh, that's what I said it is. If I'm in that New York office, how am I able to connect? Just like I connect, just it is I am connecting in a local, right? Through the VPN also, even you are in the internet, but through the VPN what it is, you are just connecting just like so. The, same IP type I am using here. Same IP network for laptop it is. We are connected. 
user connect remote infrastructure like connecting in the local network where we cannot able to use laser lines their vpn works okay so this is about your vpn guys understand any point of vpn the underlying points please read once more so then you will understand what is a vpn okay what are the these vpn servers you can configure vpn in the firewalls but not all firewalls there is certain firewalls having a feature of vpn thing inside okay so we can make that so you can enable that vpn it make it that we are firewall as a vpn server and configure what is your authentication server public ip address to connect which tunneling protocol you have to do it like that you can connect. vpn routers you can configure inside your uh, windows firewalls okay yeah, this is this is a vpn router This is VPN route. Windows firewall, Windows server also you can make a v, as a VPN server. Linux server also pass. Okay, different types of VPN, remote VPN, personal VPN, mobile VPN, site to site VPN. This is site to site VPN. This one. This is site to site VPN. From this site to that site. Remote VPN, that is, uh, this is work from home. Remote VPN. Personal VPN is for your personal, uh, uh, in your own personal purpose only. It means for your home, you want to connect from your adapter through the internet. So that's you create your own personal VPN. Mobile VPNs, nowadays these VPN apps are came, so you, which you want to connect through the VPN. For example, there is a website you cannot able to access through Indian network, right? So it is there like if you take amazon prime india is different american is different american series are different indian series are sometimes different okay certain series you cannot watch here so you can connect through the vpn take their subscription and you can connect it that is not a good idea guys a lot of people nowadays i don't know why people are uh, using this mobile vpn it is actually your think it is secure but it's not actually secure not secure at all you don't know who is that vpn guy you're connecting to someone's vpn to access something you don't know who is that okay so you just like you are uh, trying to avoid a police you choose a some gully and you a thief attack you so what happened? <laughs> so that's the point. Okay. These are the major points of VPN guys. That's it. Okay. So your as I know all the whole syllabus is completed, but try to look at the completion parts, notes I shared, and as well as um, go through that no um, those things like uh, what we can say sir shared questions you feel anything is left over so please inform me just in the group put it so i will try to send that one okay that's it for today possible we'll meet sometime after next week